we'll, uh, we'll let the picture catch up with us in a moment. Um, a couple of mobile phones. Um, we're all familiar with them, I think. Um, they've changed the world for those of us that can actually have them. What about the poorest two billion people who can't afford mobile phone access? If you actually want to put a, a mobile phone tower out in, uh, say, rural Africa, it'll cost you about a quarter of a billion dollars a year to run it. And this is simply because you know, there's no power available, so you have to put a diesel generator in, then you need diesel there, and you go, oh, someone would like to steal your diesel and your de generator, uh, because their village doesn't have power either. Um, and so you have to put a big fence around it, big lights, security cameras, um, and you end up consuming a huge amount of power um, and capital expense in arranging that. And so the cost is very high, but also, there are other applications where telecommunications is not feasible the way it's done today. So we can see here, um, who can guess where that is? It's Haiti from earlier this year. Um, I could have just as easily shown um, you know, an image from the Victorian bushfires where a number of phone towers were burnt out. And we're actually with uh, the Red Cross here in Australia. And they actually lost crews of Red Cross staff for three days during those fires. Um, do you think they were worried? Do you think they were upset? Do you think their families were worried and upset? Think now about in this, you know, in Haiti in the disaster where there were hundreds of thousands of people who couldn't contact their families and friends. Just getting a local phone network back up and running makes an incredible difference. And after Haiti, I, I saw, you know, the perfect devastation when their phone network was basically offline for a fortnight because there was no way to get it back up. You know, the airport was messed up, the port was messed up, their roads were messed up. And I thought, this should never happen again. So we set about designing um, a phone system that actually doesn't need any infrastructure. So these ordinary mobile phones have got software that we've made that enables them to communicate directly with one another. And if there was another phone here, then you know, this phone could communicate through that one to get to the other phone. 80% um, of phone calls are less than four kilometres in distance. There's no infrastructure, there's no capital cost. If we could get this into every mobile phone here in the West, as those phones become second-hand and worthless, we ship them over to the poorest in the world, they would have mobile phone coverage. They would have affordable mobile phone coverage. We're excited. We want to change the world, and we think that we will change the world. Um, and what's amazing is that it's actually possible to do this in a very cost-effective manner. Um, we have business plans um, that would actually make it quite profitable to do this, while still actually, you know, we would actually be, in many ways, competing against the, uh, the traditional uh, mobile phone um, paradigm, really. And you think, you know, we could probably carry a call for 0.2 of a cent around a, you know, within a, an urban area. Um, that's a, a compelling market advantage. We're giving the software away, away, away for free for the phones because we want it to be on everyone's phone so that everyone can benefit, whether they're in a disaster, whether, if we go on to the next slide, we have a, uh, just a, an ordinary subsistence farming family from Africa. Subsistence farming is actually a calorie budget problem. You can't sell enough of your food and still stay alive to actually get the infrastructure and support you need to escape poverty. If people can make a phone call rather than walk for four hours to the local market or to wherever, they're saving calories. They don't need to eat as much. They can actually sell more of their food. And they'll probably get a better price too because they'll be able to ring the market and go, ah. Oh. So this guy who's offering me 3% of market value, um, I can tell him to you know, jump in the lake over there um, and say that I, you know, I want 40% of the market value because you know, sure, he's got transport costs and you know, marketing costs. So we're excited that we can save lives in disaster and that we can help the poorest two billion enjoy what we've taken for granted. We can bridge the digital divide and rescue millions from poverty. And we would love to partner with anyone um, that would share that vision with us. Thank you.